Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. I'm gonna show you how I pack super lightweight, minimalistically. This is my bag that I've had for over a decade and it is a Longchamp tote bag. It expands and it's actually considered a personal item. Not only do I not wanna check a bag, but now with airlines charging you for carry-ons, I really just try to bring a personal item with me and it's how I've traveled for years. This is the bag that I bring whether I'm traveling in the US or abroad. I have traveled to Europe with just this bag for two weeks. I did London, I did Paris, and I'm gonna show you how I make it work. My first international trip was at age six with my mom. She was a lifelong traveler and we went to Paris and this woman brought so many suitcases and I'm six, who helped her with those suitcases? Me. And I think it traumatized me so much that I knew from that point, I, like I was not going to be someone who packed heavy and had to lug things all over town. So uh, I've always been someone who packs super lightly and my friends are like amazed at the wizardry of uh, how I'm able to squeeze so much into a bag. This little tote bag meets the personal item requirement and fits under the seat in front of you on an aircraft so yeah let's let me show you how i fill this thing up and i bring enough clothes for a week i've got all my little hacks i'll tell you maybe you know some of them maybe not but um i thought it would be fun to do a little pack with me video and maybe inspire you to pack super light on your next trip i guarantee you you don't need as much stuff as you think you need just like in our homes and our lives I highly doubt that you need to bring all of the things with you that you think you need to bring when you go on vacation. Okay, so let's start. Here's an overview of everything I'm going to attempt to squeeze into the bag. I don't know for sure if all of this will fit, but we'll see. I actually added a few extra things. Like I don't necessarily need to bring a dress because I rarely wear dresses even at home, but I thought we'd see in case, you know, it's always nice to have some options. So I've got a few tops. I've got like four tops, a pantsuit, a dress, jeans, leggings, sweatpants, my jacket, my hat, my um, belt bag, my scarf, scarves, tennis shoes, sandals, and then uh, laptop, electronics, etc. So let's get started. Well, the first thing is make sure you wear your heaviest items for the flight. So I do a pair of stretchy jeans and then I have like a lightweight long sleeve uh, cotton tee that I'll wear throughout the trip. So already I have two items on me. When I go on the plane, I have my parka and this doubles as like my blanket for the flight. This is a good lightweight one. I think it's by 32 degrees. No, 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 no. No, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Cool, sit down. This is my visor that I wear everywhere, but if you have a hat that you're gonna bring, you're gonna have to wear the hat. Hat is on, park is on. I always bring a scarf and this is a large, kind of sheer lightweight scarf. Perfect, you can roll it up as like a little neck rest if you want, use it as a blanket. But yeah, I'll just kind of drape it around like that and wear this on the flight. So this is sort of the in-flight outfit now. There's one other thing I'll show you towards the end that I also wear, but let's start packing. Well, I'm gonna take these off though. Cause yeah, it is. it can get a little hot. I will do it to save the $80 or so for checked luggage there and back. That's where my frugal side kicks in. Like I hate paying for parking. If I can find street parking, I hate paying to uh, have a carry on bag. I'd rather just do personal item. One other tip is to wear your bulkier shoes. So if you're gonna bring, let's say a pair of boots, um, you'll wear those on the plane. I'm bringing these white sneakers. They go with everything. They're by a brand called Veja. And I can wear them with my jeans, with my dress, with my leggings. I only bring two pieces of footwear when I'm traveling. I don't delude myself into thinking that I'm gonna wear heels. That's just like not gonna happen. But I do bring this like low heeled sandal that goes with everything because it's a nude neutral color, it's brown. So I have one pair of brown sandals and my tennis shoes that'll be worn on the plane. So only have to pack the sandals. I tend to bring a lot of basics when I travel. I used to pack things that I thought, oh, I'm gonna wanna get dressed up in this special way for a special trip. And then I wouldn't end up wearing those things. So 
you know how they say you wear maybe 20% of your closet 90% of the time? That's kind of how it is when I travel. So I just try to bring the basics. I tend to bring solid colors, although I do have my pattern dress and then I have my yellow jumpsuit. And those are things I would wear for like a night out. But overall, it's kind of shocking how much I can fit into this small carry-on and have plenty of outfits to last multiple times. So you can mix and match, especially if you're bringing solid colors. And then I think the other big trick is just to wear your bulkier items. So like this gray sweater, I wrapped around my waist and I don't mind wearing that on the plane. Here's what it's looking like so far. We've got one pair of leggings, one pair of jeans, one blouse, one dress, a pair of sweats, a white tee, and a black sweater. Now let's do the toiletries bag. Now for this stuff, I use little bags to kind of separate things into different categories. So for this, I will do, oh, and then I have my clear bag for TSA. Okay, so this I'm gonna do basically my makeup and I travel really lightly with makeup. I do a brow pencil, I do a lip gloss, I do my little lash system. I do a highlighter, I don't wear foundation. That's my makeup bag. And then in this little Ziploc, I'll bring my miniature mouthwash, and then I have my deodorant in there, my glow screen. This is what I wear instead of makeup. I just wear this, uh, it's like a, almost like a tinted sunscreen. For my face wash, I bring this little sample of a face wash I got for my birthday at Sephora. And then I'll bring the sample size of the skin cream as well. Also bring this first aid kit. It's just a flower essence remedy. And then I have this little mini oil. I've refilled it with bio oil, which I use on my scar. That is that bag. Okay, now let's do the sort of like miscellaneous bag for everything else. So contact lenses go in there. I don't bring a large wallet with me. I condense everything down to a little coin purse size. And then inside of that, I just bring my uh, license and my debit card and a $20 bill and a little Burt's Bees lip balm because I'm addicted to having like chapstick. So I bring this instead of a wallet. Actually, but I'm gonna put this somewhere else. So I'm just gonna leave that out and put that aside. Now in here, I've got my contacts. Oh, I always bring a pen with me. This is my lip liner. So it goes into the makeup pouch, toothbrush, hairbrush. This is one of those compact ones. And then it has a mirror. This is my travel brush. My eyeglasses, which I will put in a little baggy. And if I'm bringing any extra jewelry, I'll also put it into this bag, but typically I keep my jewelry super simple and I just wear it on the plane. I have a pendant necklace and my hoop earrings and that's pretty much it. Always gotta have a hair scrunchie, but I like to have that loose in here. This is the world's most comfortable face mask. I can link it in the description box. It's really, really nice. You want to wear something on the plane okay i'll put my earbuds in there typically i'll bring just one vial with any medications i need like claritin tylenol anything for my migraines and that will go in there as well you know what this actually is going to go somewhere else as is this these are like for the flight essentials for the flight for the flight for the flight pack away pack away and then these are to wear on the flight okay as far as intimates go i bring seven pairs of undies i have one bra and one bra that i'm wearing and then i bring one sports bra for any active type activities i have a little sleep mask that i bring i'm gonna grab one other thing i'm gonna bring a plastic bag and I use the plastic bag to wrap my shoes in. And then later on in the trip, you can also use the plastic bag, turn it inside out and use it for dirty laundry or clothes that you want to wash when you get back. Okay, plastic baggie for shoes. I 
actually going to wait to put these on last on the top. This little baggie will go here on the side. This little baggie will go here on this side. I always travel with a bum bag. This one is by Patagonia. It's very like lightweight. I think Jansport makes a really great one too. And so this just kind of goes around my waist. It becomes part of my body and it does not count as another item. And in here is where I put everything that I want to access easily for going through TSA pre-check, for waiting in the lounge. So I have my little mini coin purse wallet. I have my earbuds. I have my mask. And typically my phone would go in here as well, but I'm shooting on it and my sunglasses. I don't bring my keys. If anything, I'll take off one thing, either the thing for my car or for my front door, but I don't bring my whole keychain with me when I travel. Let's do this bagging on the side there. Now I need the plug for my laptop and my laptop still to fit. So I'm gonna break these apart. At this point, you're basically playing Tetris to get everything in there. Let's see if we can do it. Now I'm going to get my laptop in there. I always bring that if I'm doing a working trip. Uh, and since this is going to be on me the entire time, I feel comfortable having it in here without a case. If I wanted to put it in its case, I would have to take some things out of here, I think. Yeah. But I have a backup for you if that is something you want to do. I have another idea I'll share with you in a second. Okay, so we got the laptop in. Let's see... Let's see it. Let's get our shoes in. We know we want to bring the shoes. And let's see if we can get this in. This extra pantsuit is a stretch, but why not? Let's try it. Just looking for like any empty kind of spots that you can tuck into that might actually work. Okay. So it's pretty full. I'm going to lay it on its side. Just like you would a suitcase <laughs> to zip her up. Let's see, wait, let's start the zip first. There we go. Good to go. All of that fit in there. I wanna take a quick minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. You guys have heard me rave about Skillshare before. I just think it's a great way to invest in yourself, learn a new skill, express your creativity. Skillshare has ad-free classes with new premium classes being released every single week. And the entire catalog is now available in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. Writing for Self-Discovery by Yasmin Cheyenne has been my personal favorite over the last couple of weeks. I love to start my morning with some journaling it's been very healing and expansive. And then I do a little more journaling at night to check in with myself. I think Skillshare is a great gift idea for that person in your life who you know loves to learn and doesn't need any more stuff. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box or my code will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. This is your chance to explore the Skillshare class library for an entire month completely for free. Skillshare adds a lot of fun to my life. So thank you, Skillshare. Okay, back to today's video. So this is what it looks like when we are headed to the airport. <laughs> Jeans on, belt bag, sweater around the waist. You can also wear this if you want to layer, but I'm doing a parka, so don't really need any more layers. Hat, scarf, sunglasses, bag. I'm not leaving, baby, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. So that's it, and then my tennis shoes on. But this is my flight outfit. I have everything I need. This will go under the seat in front of me. I'll take off the hat. Oh, and one other thing. I do bring a neck pillow. I'll just latch it on across these two straps and have my neck pillow hanging here. You can also do your scarf here on the handles like that can do your hat there. Now, if you are desperate to bring more and you're still trying to do just a personal item, this kind of jacket that has interior pockets, 
I've even used the interior of the pockets before to bring things back after a trip or to squeeze whatever else I want on my person. This is how you can pack personal item only. I hope it helps you for your next trip. If you're going anywhere exciting this year, make sure to let me know in the comments and I will see you in next week's video. Peace, bye.